In this video, I'm gonna be talking about these really weird, vintage, old, cheap lens adapters that you can get in a bunch of different types and variations and different brands that add a really unique characteristic and a unique look to your videos. So these are the ones I have on hand. Um, these are pretty much just old vintage lens adapters, like wide angle adapters and fisheye adapters and macro adapters that you can get. There's probably in hundreds of different brands. You can get them for dirt cheap nowadays on eBay or at thrift stores or Facebook marketplace or something like that. And so the first I'm talking about is this right here. So this is the weirdest looking one. This is actually a Spiritone fisheye lens. This thing is super wide. It's like almost 180 degree field of view. And it's pretty much just a regular fisheye adapter, a vintage fisheye adapter. And so it's gonna have those vintage characteristics. And so obviously this isn't gonna be as good as buying a dedicated fisheye lens and like especially a newer fisheye lens because this is actually just a thread on adapter that threads onto any lens. So I believe this is a 52 millimeter thread which actually fits perfectly on this Canon FD 50 millimeter F1.4. And using a vintage lens with this old vintage adapter actually even adds to the look even more. And it helps give that like, you know, softer, like more chromatic aberration-y look to your footage um, that you kind of go for with old vintage stuff like this. The biggest thing to note is that this should only be used for really dedicated shots and only certain types of, you know, video and film and whatever you use it for. Just because of how stylized this is, this isn't something you can use for an entire video or like a whole YouTube video like what I'm doing here. I'll actually try that right now and I'll show you how well it works out. All right, so I'm gonna switch over from my main camera over to this fisheye lens and just show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. This is literally probably a foot and a half away from my face right now. And you can pretty much see everything. You can probably see my microphone up here, which is like directly above it. You can see my light over here. That light shining up on the ceiling. I mean, you can see everything and it's twice as close as my main camera is. And that has a 16 millimeter lens, which is already a pretty wide angle lens. So, I mean, you can just see the difference in angle and field of view here and just how weird this fisheye lens looks. So like I said, this is, literally dedicated for interesting, unique, you know, a specific look that you're trying to get out of your film or video or whatever you're doing with this. But I mean, you can see I'm holding my hand up like this and this is how it looks on the camera. I mean, it looks like my fingers are 10 feet long. It's such an interesting look to it. I don't know, it's, there's just something about it. it looks awesome. It's like those old skate films or something like that. But either way, let's actually move on to the next one that we're gonna be talking about, which is a little different. It's not as, stylized and unique as this fisheye adapter. So this might be more of a, you know, friendly adapter to beginners getting into something that don't want an insane look like this. So this right here is a Tiffin close-up lens. And this is basically a macro lens attachment, but instead of being one of those like macro uh, spacer rings that go on before your lens, this actually threads onto the lens as well. And it's also the same 52 millimeter thread. So it can go right on here with this FD 50 millimeter F1.4 lens as well. There we go. So this one looks a lot more normal. It's not as like long and like skinny and like, you know, bulbous at the end. It's a lot more of a normal lens adapter. And so like I said, this basically adds macro capabilities to any lens, but also what it does is it really gets rid of the sharpness a bunch. It kind of adds some weird flaring to it, more chromatic aberration, and just adds a really unique look to your footage as well. Again, this isn't gonna be tack sharp. It's not gonna be pristine image. And that's literally the reason why I love these things. They might not fit your workflow at all, but I really love them. And I think, you know, if you're going for this unique, weird, not super sharp, tactile looking type of feel with your videos, Using these weird old vintage lens adapters are really awesome. Basically, there's not a whole lot to say about this one. It's literally like a macro adapter. So you can get really close up shots, but it really adds a weird flaring, almost like a hazy look, like, you know, softness to your image. And like I said, it basically turns your lens into a macro lens. And so that's kind of leads on to another use of these lens adapters. Like I said, these are dirt cheap. These are an easy way to get a different look out of your lens without having to buy a specifically a new lens or a totally different lens to get a certain unique look. So for example, a fisheye lens. You can get a fisheye lens for a few hundred dollars and it's just always like this. It's a specific fisheye lens, you know, it's, it's dedicated to just being a fisheye lens. But if you don't want to spend that couple hundred dollars or even probably closer to a thousand dollars for some fisheye lenses, you can get this for like 10, 20, 50 bucks and just thread it onto any lens that you already have and get that fisheye look. Or same with this macro, instead of buying a macro lens, you can just thread this on to a different lens that you have and get that macro look, 
you know, that kind of vintage characteristic. And these basically just save you from having to purchase a totally separate lens, especially if it's something that you might not use very much or might only need once or twice. Just saving the money and buying these cheap lens adapters that you can put on different lenses that aren't gonna be a huge hit to your bank account and just have these really unique looks to them is definitely something I think you should look into. That's why I made this video because I always wanna talk about these things. I really love using these and uh, I'd recommend checking them out if there's something that you'd be interested in. Now, I don't have any sort of links to these. You can buy these on Amazon, but not like vintage ones like these, they're gonna be you know, probably way worse built. I mean, these are all made out of metal, like most vintage lenses are. So I really don't have like a link to buy these. But either way, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you in the next video.